Okay guys, I'm going to show you today, um, if you can't work out any other way, um, if you're getting the problem, my H, uh, the device is not available or being used by another application. Um, when I first plugged mine in, I was having um, quite a bad problem with it. I spent virtually all day trying to fix it and eventually I came up with this thing, but it was, it, the way I did it wasn't on any websites or anything, so I thought, it's worth a shot if you guys want to check out this video and try it. Now as you can see mine is working now but it wasn't earlier. So um, what I did in the end is I tried um, I tried downloading the driver again, updating it and stuff like that and it just completely wasn't working. So I eventually just completely decided to re go over it again. So what I did is first of all I went to my computer. Um, you got to have the disk drive in for this, the CD which comes with it, if not you can download the CD online you um, so you load up the CD yes and then what you want to do, obviously select your language is you want to uninstall HTPVR2. I'm not going to do this because obviously I've just got it working. But first of all, uninstall that, you do all that, and then once you've done that, you're going to want to go to my computer, then you're going to go to um, control panel, programs, uninstall a program, and you need to uninstall everything that is associated with what you've downloaded um, all the things so the ones which I've got is you want to uninstall that ArcSoft Showbiz which it installed um, Haparge Device Central completely uninstall all of these I'm not sure if there's any more Yeah, so you're, you're going to want to uninstall those two. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to go to um, Computer, Local Disk C, Program Files Times 86. Then you're going to want to see that ArcSoft folder. You're going to want to right click and delete that. Then. I'll scroll down a bit further. Basically, you're trying to get every single thing which it has installed, just completely wipe it off and just start again. Yes, yeah, so that's it from there. Then you're going to want to go back to there, go to program files. and make sure there's nothing here but you can you can search at the top you can search no everything's everything's been deleted which is um associated with that HTPVR so once you've deleted that um, you can get out of that and then I'm on Windows 8 but if you're on any others just if I were you, I'd I'd search um, I'd search the company name. See, I've got um, these Haparge and Haparge device tools. Right click on both of them and open the file location. So um, you know you're really going to want to find everything and just delete all the folders. So I I would have deleted that then to make sure that nothing remains on the laptop make sure um, your device is you know not plugged in at the moment because we don't need that and then once that's been done you're going to want to reinsert your CD and plug it back in and just start completely over again I don't know why the first time I installed it it just completely messed up and wouldn't do it and I couldn't work out and then I just did this 
and it was fine so then you're going to want to do that and you're going to want to take it really nice and slow so just make sure that nothing is missed out so once it's gone in that you install the driver first and then install the software and once that is done it's going to ask you to restart you can leave the disk in and the um, device plugged in and then once that's in obviously it's going to take you back to the basics sometimes it gives you media center sometimes it gives you arc soft and then you just want to while you're on the dashboard before you've opened anything else up click arc soft and then go over to capture and then try open it straight away with nothing else open you might even want to check task manager to make sure literally nothing else is open which could be um, trying to share it that worked for me I'm not sure if that worked for your, you guys sometimes when the um, when it comes unplugged and you plug it back in it will do it again and it will say about the thing if that happens you just want to close this down and um, close close um, XSplit or whatever else you're using at the same time unplug it plug it back in and then hopefully it should be fine after that so I hope that helped and um, if it did subscribe leave a like if it didn't leave a comment hopefully I'll try to find someone else to help cheers